Hi, I'm Carly. I'm Pet Program Manager at Berkeley Humane, and this is Rosie. Rosie and I are going to talk a little bit today about how to pet and handle a cat in a way that they'll enjoy. First, always make sure that the cat sets the pace and has the choice to engage in the petting or not. If Rosie chooses he no longer wants to be a part of this video, he doesn't have to be. So first, uh, cats generally like being pet on their cheeks, chin, and head. Uh, so this is always a good place to start. And if it's a cat you don't know very well, you can keep all of your petting to their head. Being pet on their bodies can be really sensitive. Um, and a lot of cats just don't like the, that sensation. Um, even cats who do genuinely like having their bodies pet, it can get really stimulating for them. So watch for signs in their body language that they might have reached their limit. It can be flipping their tail, their ears going to the side, kind of freezing their body, or especially if they turn their head towards your hand really fast. If they do that, it's probably a no pet me here instead kind of gesture. So just give them some light cheek scratches or give them a break in general. Now, if a cat flips over on their back and shows you their belly, it might seem like they're asking for a belly rub, but they're probably not. Uh, it's a very vulnerable thing for cats to expose their belly to someone, so doing so is a big sign of trust. But they're not asking to be pet there, and they probably won't like it if you try. So if they do that, take that as the compliment it is, and just give their cheeks and head a little bit of a scratch and they'll appreciate that. If you're engaging with a cat, or trying to build a relationship with a cat who doesn't seem to want to be pet, just focus on playing with them, with a wand toy, with a feather, or some other sort of object. Doing so will give the cat a really fun way to interact with you, and will form a relationship that doesn't require physical contact. In fact, there's a good chance that if you do that for a while, they'll come to trust you, and after time, they'll probably start initiating contact on their own. But one way or another, let them have the choices and it will be more pleasant for you both.